All right, going to hit play. I'm watching this for the first time since uh, the day after it came out. But this was unquestionably my favorite video that I've ever done. Uh, chasing history. So all this stuff was added right at the very end. Uh, the Roger Maris and the Babe Ruth comparisons. I had initially begun with that. Uh, it was just the 61st home run. And my thought was, if Judge gets to 61, you'd kind of bookend the video with 61. But as Judge struggled to get home run number 61 and ultimately home run number 62, I realized how much pressure he was under. And that made me want to highlight uh, Roger Maris's pressure that he faced uh, in the last few days, even though I didn't get to see it. And then we got a quick montage of Judge, some of my favorite bombs that he hit last year. That one against the Blue Jays was probably my favorite, even more so than home run number 62. The walk-off. See that in a minute. Quick shot of Tampa, Florida. Yankees are headed to Tampa pretty soon for spring training 2023, recording this on January 26th. I remember Judge saying that he was going to hit 50 last year, and I added that headline in there. I don't think even he imagined he would hit 62, but what an unbelievable year. I don't know if he's going to get 62 again, but I definitely wouldn't count against him getting uh, or count him out from getting 50-plus again. See his first hit of the year. Sprezzatura, that's something that they used to say that Joe DiMaggio had. It's a quality of making uh, things that are difficult look easy. This is home run number one. Not his best swing of the year. Kind of got jammed a little bit. This one hit to right center field over the auxiliary scoreboard. He hit two home runs in that game. Drink some water. And when Judge is going line to line like he can because he's so strong, it's impossible to, to stop him. I mean, he's when he's locked in like that, Unfortunately, we didn't get to see it in the playoffs last year, but it's only a matter of time before he has one of those A-Rod stretches in 2009 where Judge just carries the Yankees through the playoffs. This Kansas City series was fun. He just went crazy against Kansas City last year. He dominated Kansas City. This one to center field was one of the longer home runs of the year over the batter's eye. And then this one kind of inside outs it. Over the national car rental sign. I mean, the way he cleaned that first one out, man. Ton of power. You see a lot of exterior city shots. I wanted to try and, you know, show the journey that he was on. You know, going from city to city, hitting home runs against every team. I tried to include a lot of interviews and clips and stuff, but I didn't really start making this until about home run number 30. You know, when he was at 30 halfway through the season, then I had to go back and get more highlights. This year I'm doing a cinematic show kind of based on this video every week. It's called the Yankee Chronicles. I think that's going to be kind of uh, my favorite project of the year. And so I'm going to have a lot more access to, to uh, video. I'm going to need to get more storage options. But uh, anyway, that was the walk-off home run from Judge. I mean, the, the shot of the year, honestly, he, he just annihilated this. Hanging slider, backup slider. You see Jason Surge going crazy, losing his mind. That was that was fun. That's why I wanted to put other content creators in there, because I get excited watching these guys. little clip from the post game. You know, I thought this post game looked pretty good back then, but, you know, going with what we're going to have this year, it's going to look way better. Pat Hennessy, shout to Pat on his Yankees. Now doing work over there on uh, Yankees Avenue with his buddy Dan. What a game that was against the Blue Jays. I mean, I was savoring that the entire next day. I must have watched that replay like 50 times. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, Chicago, May 12th, 2022. This was absolutely demolished. I think that's, yeah, 456 feet. Damn near went over the bleachers. Labor Torres with the gavel drop. I mean, that is just barreled up. Great sound. 
It did get a little bit annoying, I'll admit, listening to Michael K say, There it goes! See ya! Over and over again. I probably included too much of that. If I end up doing uh, a sequel to this, I, first of all, I've already decided the name. I'm going to call it Chasing History Again. Uh, and we'll have a lot more diversity of the calls between um, the home and radio announcers and you know, just stadium sounds. Uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll get some other creative ways to do it, but Judge got to do his part first. But I'm going to be working behind the scenes to to kind of create something like this, uh, just in case. And again, we're going to be doing the Yankee Chronicles, so that'll be a lot of things to pull from. Uh, this low and in pitch, he just drops the bat head on it. This one is golfed. He knows it immediately. I like how he's he's kind of got like a standard home run pose where he's got the one arm uh, but he also has times where he keeps both hands on the bat like you just saw so it's it's odd that uh, you know he's he's really got a couple of different home run swings now that was both hands on the bat opposite field that's what you have to do but then right there it's just one handed right through the zone and you see that big home run follow through this is one two hands and he crushes this to center field. If you ask Aaron Judge, I bet he would say that he prefers to keep both hands on the bat. It's a little bit easier on the shoulder. But it's just interesting how he changes it up. This was against the Cubs. Home runs 23 and 24. This one was a bullet. He doesn't hit a lot of line drives like that. That was more of a Stanton home run. 116 miles an hour off the bat. Judge hits a lot more of those high arcing fly balls because his routine fly balls for him go 400 feet. He deserves to lead the all Here was a little montage of showing clips, uh, I believe, just some announcers talking over this. Uh, this was two two more home runs, June 22nd. He had a lot of multi-home run games last year. This is the one that gravity barely kept on earth. I think it hit the catwalk. Unbelievable. Emotion, in motion, that Aaron Judge. I listened to that clip a lot. This was a walk-off home run against the Astros. Crowd going nuts. I remember I went golfing that day. Left after nine holes to watch the end of the game. Meredith taking it all in and trying to avoid uh, the buckets of Gatorade that get dumped on the players after walk-offs. I miss baseball season, man. Uh, my buddies over at the Bronx Pinstripes, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network, of which NYY Recaps uh, is a member. And this was a, a clip from the post game. It's interesting watching my old styles throughout the years. I think we're going to be pretty consistent this year. I've settled on something that I like. Pittsburgh. Oh, this was a grand slam. I remember this one like it was yesterday. Crushed. You knew that was gone as soon as, as soon as he hit it because of the sound. 419 feet. And at this point, people are starting to talk about, you know, is Judge going to break Maris's record? And there was a lot of revisiting of Roger Maris's season right around this time. And then he kind of sunk into a rhythm right after the break. So this was July 14th, home run number 31. against the uh, Reds, right down the middle. I mean, you couldn't throw a fatter pitch than that. July 16th, couple of home runs, another multi-home run game. I think that was a cutter, 86 miles an hour. Hits it to the back of the bullpen. The guy's just a beast. This was against Houston. I think this was right before the break. Hits one over the train tracks. Sorry, I got some computer sounds going in the background. Uh, I'm kind of watching this and I'm getting emails and stuff, but I just thought it would be fun to record commentary and watch this video and, and think about how much fun it's going to be to watch Aaron Judge do this again this year. Hopefully he stays healthy in the first year of this contract, first year as captain. That was a gargantuan home run. You don't realize how far away that is until you go there in person and see that it's like over two or three big sections of grass and even the moved wall, they moved the wall back in Baltimore, was no match for Judge last year. 
When he hits them, they stay hit. This was 38 against the Mets opposite field. Almost up to the pavilion. This is another walk-off home run against KC to make. I think the Yankees got two hits in that game <laughs> and won the game. That was, yeah, two hits and won the game. And that was the one where Aaron Boone is like, well, it's not a hitting competition. It's a run scoring competition. So Judge at that point was at 39 home runs, and they weren't in August yet. Unreal. MLB Network starting to realize the inevitable. Judge is going to be the MVP. He was the MVP. Going into the bleachers there. I mean, he just demolished Kansas City last year. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but wouldn't surprise me if he hit six or seven home runs against Kansas City. And I think he stole a couple of home runs, threw out some runners. He just went bonkers. Hit his 200th career home run on July 30th as we approach the trade deadline. I love these creator cams. Uh, I love seeing field footage. It's just fun to go back and rewatch, especially with the sound. Good pair of headphones. You really sink into it. I've been watching a lot of highlights this winter. Uh, I've been watching a lot of A-Rod highlights. I'm feeling nostalgic about A-Rod, maybe because the Yankees' third baseman is Josh Donaldson at this point. Wouldn't surprise me, though, if Oswald Peraza, the more I hear about Peraza, um, and the more I hear about Volpe as the number one prospect at shortstop, would not shock me if the Yankees end up putting Volpe at short and teaching Peraza how to play third base on a regular basis. Sounds like DJ LeMahieu is feeling a little bit better, so he might be your everyday third baseman or most of the time third baseman. Yankees reportedly still trying to move Josh Donaldson. Home run number 47 there, opposite field off of Max Scherzer. This one was a gargantuan blast, too. 48, halfway up the bleachers. You remember when he hit one over the bleachers? That was bonkers. Oakland on the West Coast. As we move towards late August, home run number 49. At this point, it's getting really real. At this point, it's looking like he could go way past Roger Maris, 67, 68. I remember thinking he was going to hit about 67 at this point. He was on pace for it for a while. And then there's people just whispering, well, maybe he can get to 70. I never really thought he was going to get to 70, but I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, he's bigger than Judge. I mean, he's bigger than uh, McGuire. He's bigger than Bonds. He's natural, just naturally huge. I don't think he's the quality of hitter in terms of hand-eye coordination that uh, Barry Bonds was, but certainly better than McGuire. But the pitching is better these days, so. Eh, you never know. I, I doubt he's going to get to 70, but I wouldn't put it past him. If I had to guess, I think Judge is going to have about you know 55 to 57 home runs this year. I think they're going to pitch around him a little bit more. Uh, this was a submission from Bronx Talks. Again, uh, when I do the Yankee Chronicles this year, I would love to include clips from the stadium and things like that, so we'll uh, create a, uh, a way for you guys to send those to me, preferably... Uh, on Twitter. Just the easiest way. And remember, when you're shooting film uh, or shooting video on your phone, turn your phone sideways. Nobody goes to those vertical movie theaters. Think of it like a movie screen. That was home run number 56. Uh, as you hear audio, uh, if you're watching the regular broadcast, uh, from the Force Train Savages. Somewhat. Very good podcasters. Just had Michael K on the other day. Congrats to those guys. And this is a gargantuan blast over the monster. Deep into the Boston night. That's always satisfying. Really opens up the hips. Hey, there's Jason Surge. Shout out to Jason Surge, 161 River Avenue. He did a lot of swearing and bleeping if you watch the video. I tried to make him my comic relief. Jason's a fun guy to work with. 58 and 59 in Milwaukee. This was an opposite field shot. And then this one absolutely demolished. Love the pitcher's reaction. He knew that one was not coming back. It's going in somebody's den with 5-9 written on it. And at this point, you start thinking about, you know, maybe he breaks Maris's record at home because they were headed back to New York. 
you start seeing all of the uh, podcasts and the uh, MLB Network shows start to talk about it. Uh, it was really heating up. This whole city was uh, buzzing about it. And I, of course, was obsessed with it. At this point, I was heavily involved in editing this. You know, uh, I, I was doing a lot, uh, but it was mostly highlights when it was um, when he was at 30. When I first started, uh, I was I pretty much just started pr pulling in all the highlights. But then I started to really fill it out uh, right around 58, 59. And I was basically working all day long to build this. And then this is number 60. Crushed against Pittsburgh. And at this point, I didn't really know what the video was going to be. You know, I, I knew it was going to be a judge going after Roger Maris. But I didn't know if he was going to end up with 67, 68. That would have been very anticlimactic. And it would have essentially felt more like a highlight video. So after he hits number 60, he goes into a little bit of a, a mini slump. And, and at that point, I started thinking, all right, this video is becoming about pressure. It's becoming about the weight that's on his shoulders and the weight, spelled differently, uh, to see history. And that's when I really started to fill the uh, content with clips from you know MLB Network and uh, Yes Network's Twitter would post these little videos of Jack and the other guys talking about, um, you know, whatever happened in the game. Their judge started getting walked a lot. I remember this one. He crushed it to center field, and the cameraman kind of messed with us there. He had three walks on the night, and you see my reaction. <laughs> I'm saying, forget it. Forget it. And then I see it get caught and, of course, went into a, uh, a, a downward spiral. <laughs> Brian Hoke. And then you could really see the uh, the pressure starting to build up, and, and the Maris family was following at that point, and it was all anybody was talking about. And I was really uh, just struggling to, to find a way to tie this all together. Uh, I didn't know what at bat he was going to break it in or if he was going to break it. So I tried to, you know, create – tension and if you watch this with the sound you could feel that you know i tried to i basically tried to put what i was feeling into it and tried to imagine what judge was feeling and you know having flashbacks of you know roger maris's retired number nine and seeing highlights and i tried to show them both like digging into the box and if you listen to this you'll notice that the, the audio was all jumbled i was intentionally trying to create you know, a, a scrambling effect in your brain as you, know, you see a little flash of the word ghost. You know, the ghosts were coming out. Uh, a little video shout out to Max Goodman. The Yankees had a, uh, a game rained, a rain shortened, and it cost Judge a couple of bats. But at this point, you know, Judge is feeling the pressure. You know, the Yankees are all getting asked about it. When do you think he's going to do it? Do you think he's feeling the pressure? Did you want to do it at home? Is it going to mean as much now that you're going on the road? So they go to Toronto. Toronto's beautiful at night. Judge lines this one to right field. At this point, he was still going for the batting title, so uh, he was picking up a lot of base hits and drawing a lot of walks, and that was causing his batting average to go up and his OPS to go up. And at this point, you're thinking, he's got to do it soon. Just somebody's going to hang a slider at some point soon. Phelps goes up and away and walks him. Just not giving him much to hit. Yankees end up clinching the division. Ground out to second base. Glaber Torres over to Rizzo. They get their celebration on. And then at this point, it really becomes all about Judge as we look at John Sterling. The Yankees win. Guys getting alcohol dumped in their eyes during the most important part of the season. Awesome. 
spray day. I love the uh, the headlines of the New York Post. So this is the next day. Judge pops out, grounds out to third, and then in his third at bat, it all comes together. And the 3-2. Line to left field, deep. He knows he got it. Hits the sports book sign. 61. I watched that a hundred times, man. And not just because I was editing and trying to cut all the different clips together. You know, you got to be careful um, when you're doing a channel that has a lot of highlights, right? And, and, and there are channels that, that do highlights and only highlights. Um, you got to be careful about copyright you know if you go more than eight or nine seconds you can get flagged for having a copyright violation so i try and use different cameras different angles different you know cuts and go for four or five seconds at a time and try and cut out as much unessential stuff as possible it seems to work. So the coverage now all about, you know, when will he get 62? And Curry thought it was going to come right away. He said something to the effect of, you know, uh, we had to wait a long time between 60 and 61. Don't think we're going to have to wait as long between 61 and 62. Unfortunately, though, um, we did have to wait. Home stand against the Orioles. Judge had killed the Orioles that year. Uh, you saw it earlier. And they just pitched him. Um, they pitched him really tough this first night, and then they started to just kind of avoid the zone altogether. I believe he walks here too. Yep. So you know he got a couple of pitches to hit early in the night. Picked up a base hit. Here was my favorite part. I almost had to cut this because it didn't really fit in anywhere. But a montage of Judge's career and life. And that was fun. I was looking for different ways to, to create tension, to create that sense of waiting that we all had. October 1st is my dad's birthday, also the day that uh, Roger Maris broke the home run record that was held by Babe Ruth. He judged taking the field. It was kind of a cloudy, rainy day. And I remember thinking, you know, it would be awesome if he broke this record on the day that Maris broke his record. And and that's what everybody was feeling. And I think it came down, there's a, there's a section here in a minute where he came up to bat within minutes of <laughs> when Roger Maris broke the record. Like, they were up at the same time, 61 years apart, which is, I thought for sure he was going deep, but then he struck out. That was a, that was a disappointing moment. And then they just kind of stopped pitching pitching him How's it going, everybody? sorry yawning a little bit they say you yawn because you're not getting a lot of oxygen but i'm also very very tired uh some of you guys may know i adopted some kittens this winter and they're getting to the point where they're they're waking up at four or five in the morning and going crazy so have not been sleeping great but hopefully they settle in uh before baseball season so again, uh, rainy day. Orioles extremely careful with Judge. Struck him out there. 2-2 two -two slider. And then again, that's on Judge chasing the pitch in the dirt. Not giving him much to hit, though. That was a good pitch to hit, and he fouled it back. Took a big cut. Really opened up the hips, but ended up chasing a high fastball to strike out. So Judge is 0-3 in his final home game. And then the Yankees go to Texas. Texas is beautiful in the fall. I like their new stadium, but the camera angle from center field is the worst in baseball, in my opinion. It's farther away than I feel like is necessary. And see Judge signing autographs before the game, taking some BP swings. Uh, check swing in his first at bat. Second at bat, he scorched one. Her ended up being a double play. Did not reward him for hitting the ball hard. And then he struck out in the eighth inning. At that point, you're starting to think, well, maybe he won't get there. <laughs> you know, go from thinking he might hit 67, 68 to he might not get there. 
Uh, grounds out to short and had a tough day. So comes down to game 161, the second to last game of the season. Judge just needed one more home run. And in his first at bat, the pressure is lifted. Meatball. Blue gap. Smashed to left, and you see the dude fall out of the stands. Crowd pretty excited for an away player hitting a home run. A lot of Yankee fans there. My brother was actually in town the next day. He had bought tickets for the final game of the season, just in case Judge didn't get it uh, here in this game. Loved the radio calls. See his mom getting mobbed there. Judge knew it. And credits. Had to break out the uh, NYY Recaps theme. I was struggling for, you know, what song to use at the end. I wanted something triumphant, and I couldn't find anything that fit, so I just went with the NYY Recaps theme. It's used on a couple other channels. It's in the uh, library, like the audio library. I think it's called The High Line. And... Um, uh, when I initially downloaded it, I gave it, you know, some extra audio treatment of some home run calls and things like that. And I call it Yankees lineup ballad because that's originally what I was going to use it for, for when the lineup was playing. But anyway, he got pulled out of the game and did not play again during the regular season. Did not have a great postseason. He had a couple of home runs, but uh, anyway, my favorite piece that I've ever made. Uh, and then we had I Fought the Law, recorded by uh, uh, a, a singer. Uh, I couldn't use the original, obviously, for copyright reasons. But uh, shout out to all the content creators that uh, put in work. Love the home run here. High point of the year for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Guess my race is wrong She's the best girl that I've ever had I fought the law and the low one I fought the law and the low one She's the best girl that I ever had. I fought the law and the low one. I fought the law and the low one.